given that y equal to 3x squared plus 6 times x over uh, x to the power of 1 third plus 2x to the 3 minus 7 over 3 root x, where x is greater than 0. Find dy over dx in the simplest form. The first step which we need to take is to simplify the equation. y equal to 3x squared plus 6x to the 1 third add 2x to the 3 over 3x to the half. Square root of x is x to the half. Minus 7 over 3x to the half. We can simplify even further. 3x squared add 6x to the 1 third plus 2 third x to the 3 divided by x to the half which is x to the 5 over 2 minus 7 over 3 x to the minus half now we can find dy over dx 3x squared is 6x plus 1 third times by 6 is 2 x to the 1 third minus 1 is minus 2 over 3 plus 5 over 2 times 2 over 3 which is 5 over 3 x to the 5 over 2 minus 1 is 3 over 2 minus half times minus 7 over 3 is positive 7 over 6 x to the minus half minus 1 which is minus 3 over 2 which is the simplest form the next question I leave the question here and I solve it in the paper so Says the line L1 has the equation of L1 has the equation of y equals to minus 2x add 3. The line L2 is perpendicular to L1 and passes through. Okay, L2 is perpendicular to L1 and passes through the point 5 and 6. Okay, find an equation for L2 in the form of ax plus by. We know that L2 is a straight line, therefore the standard form is y minus y naught equals to m times x minus x naught. Where we know that x naught and y naught are 5 and 6 respectively. And m is the gradient. Since L1 and L2 are perpendicular, Therefore, the gradient of L2 should be negative, the negative reciprocal of gradient of L1. The negative reciprocal of minus 2 is half. y minus 6 equals to half times x minus 5. Since we've been asked to write down the equation in the form of ax plus by plus c, then we need to multiply both sides by 2. 2y minus 2l equals to x minus 5. Moving everything to one side, we get x minus 2y plus 7 equals to 0. Next question. Find the first four terms in ascending power of x of the binomial expansion 1 plus ax to the power of 10. First, 
four terms in ascending power. Where A is a non-zero constant, give each term in its simplest form. Okay. Which is equal to following the formula, we should get one plus. n times by x plus n times n minus 1 times by x squared over 2 factorial plus n times n minus 1 times by n minus 2 times by x to the 3 over 3 factorial and so on. So first four terms. Okay. This formula works for 1 plus x to the power of n. 1 plus x to the power of n. <coughs> However, in this case, n is equals to 10 and x is equals to ax. Rather than x, we've got ax here. All we need just substitute 10 for n and ax for x. We get 1 plus 10 times ax plus 10 times 10 minus 1 times by ax all squared over 2 factorial plus 10 times 10 minus 1 times by 10 minus 2 times by a x to the 3 over 3 factorial. We can simplify this further. 1 plus 10 a x plus 10 times 9 is 90. 2 factorial is 2. 90 divided by 2 is 45. a squared a x uh, x squared plus 10 times 9 times by 8 all over 3 factorial is 6, which is 120 a to the 3 x to the 3. And it continues further, but we don't need to continue this further because it says right on the first four terms. The next part of the question says, given that in this expansion the coefficient of x to the 3 the coefficient of x to the 3 is double the coefficient of x squared. Find the value of a. First of all, we know that the coefficient of x to the 3 is 120, a to the power of 3. And the coefficient of x squared is 45 a to the or a squared. So, since it says coefficient of the coefficient of x to the 3 is double the coefficient of x squared. It means 2 times coefficient of x squared is 120a to the 3. So, which means 120a to the 3 is equal to 90a squared. Divide both sides by a squared. And divide both sides by uh, 30. Okay, you get 4 a equals to 
ok therefore a is equal to 3 quad 